Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my 15th Python 3 tutorial. On um, this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys dictionaries. Um, and dictionaries are the second type of data structure that we're going to encounter in Python. Um, the first type, remember, was uh, sequences, like lists and tuples, stuff like that. Um, and dictionaries are similar to sequences in the way you create them, um, as in you use Simon operator, stuff like that, just like we've been doing all along. Um, but unlike sequences which just have a bunch of values, like in lists and tuples it just has a bunch of values you know stored in there separated by commas uh, <clears throat> dictionaries actually have a have a series of key value pairs um, and you can kinda of think of dictionaries like an address book where at, where you have uh, you know names of people and then details about that person and in a dictionary the keys are like the names and the uh, details are the values so let me go ahead and create address. That's the name of my dictionary, assignment operator. And address, uh, I mean, sorry, address. Uh, dictionaries are created using these squiggly braces, the, the curly braces right here. Um, they're just above the square brackets. And inside these, bra these uh, curly braces go your key value pairs. So first let me create one key value pair. And we've got a guy named Bob. All right, then after that, you put a colon. And then I'm gonna have them live in one, two, three, four, main. All right. Now this is my first key value pair, and you separate all your key value pairs using commas. So then I create my second one, Jim, colon, oops. And then um, <clears throat> this value, I'm actually just gonna have one, two, three, four, and it's not gonna be a string. This is actually gonna be an integer, because I just want to show you that, um, like, you don't have to just use strings for everything. Um, however, keys must be immutable objects so they must be uh, strings tuples they can be tuples if you'd like more often than not you're going to use strings um, and and uh, the values sorry can be whatever you'd like they can be things that are mutable so for instance they can be a uh, list they can actually be other dictionaries that can be stored inside of dictionaries which is called nesting um, and I'll get into that in a later tutorial and I'll probably just get into nesting lists inside of dictionaries um, but right now I'm just going to keep it simple so if I print this you can see my first dictionary printed out there so you can see here's one key value pair and here's another one this one is a key of Bob and a value of one two three four main which is which are both strings this one is Jim and one two three four and one two three four is an integer um, now I'm going to show you another way that you can actually create dictionaries. And this is a way that is um, actually used quite a bit. First what you do is you create so the dictionary name, assignment operator, then just blank curly braces. That tells Python that you created a di there's a dictionary named inventory, but nothing's in it because you're going to want to add on to that later. Um, and the way you add on to things like this is by doing inventory square brackets inside of those square brackets you put what you you, you want the key uh, name to be so I'm gonna say apples assignment operator and then you put what you want your value to be of this key value pair so I'm gonna say 140 so let me go ahead and create a couple inventory items a couple key value pairs here grapes 100 grapes and lastly how about some peaches and we are going to have two peaches alright now let me print out my inventory now here's my inventory you can see it has all the key value pairs separated by commas just like it would look if I had had to make it create it like this except I put in each of these things one by one um, and that's like that's pretty easy, pretty helpful when you're coding, um, because then you, if you don't know exactly what you want to be stored in your dictionary when you create it, you can just add on later, um, and that is really helpful. Uh, one more thing you can see here when I printed this out is that it's not in any particular order, and that's because unlike sequences, you don't uh, the, the the key value pairs don't have index numbers in uh, dictionaries. That's not how you access the values. You actually access them using the key name. So, for instance, inventory square brackets apples and it, and it gives me the value of that is stored in apples 
Um, and this is, you can see it's similar to how you would access things via index numbers and sequences, except you use, of course, the key name. Um, now, you can also reassign values to, uh, to keys simply by doing this. Inventory, say, bananas, assignment operator, and I'm going to have 100 bananas. Now if I print, actually I'm just going to inventory bananas. Now you can see I have 100, uh, 100 bananas. Um, and this brings up a point that I want to tell you. Your, each of your keys, the key names must be unique while the values don't necessarily have to. That's because since you're referencing them using their key names, um, if there's two of them, that'll cause an issue. So if you do this, something like this, you try to put in bananas and there's already bananas, it'll just change the value. Um, you can also delete dictionary key value pairs just by using the del and then the dictionary name and inside of square brackets you just do the name of the uh, key va the key that you would like to delete and that actually deletes the uh, key entire key value pair you can see peaches isn't in there anymore also like sequences you can actually do uh, membership tests in dictionaries so I can do uh, apples in inventory that'll give me true I can do peaches in inventory that'll give me false um, so you can actually uh, I, I didn't actually uh, use this in anything but I can do something like this in my, in my last tutorial I didn't use this in anything but I can do like if apples in inventory something like print high just something simple like that and it'll print high because apples this this boolean expression is true um, now I want to show you some methods that you can use for dictionaries um, that are particular to dictionaries. Um, now in my last tutorial, remember I showed you some methods for sequences. This is the same deal, used in the same way. So you do the object name, in this case inventory, dotted notation. You can see some of the, uh, the all the methods pop up right here. Um, and I'm only going to show you a couple of them. So I'm going to show you keys. And you have to use the parentheses because it's a function. And this will give you all of the keys, and you can do something like list inventory dot keys. Oops. And this will give you just a simple list. It looks much nicer than this, and you can do all the funky list stuff that you want. If you if you'd like to use list methods, you can now use list methods on the keys. You can also do inventory dot items. This will give you the uh, actually both the key value the key value pairs in tuple form. So each tuple, which is separated by comma, contains the key and the value. And finally, you can do values, which gives you the values of, the, uh, of your dictionary. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Now, real quick again, I showed you how to create dictionaries. Two different ways to do that. One, you just, uh, well first you put the name in the assignment operator. Then inside of curly braces, you put key value pairs, and the key, then a colon, then the value, and each key value pair is separated by a comma. You can also just create an empty dictionary and then add to it as you go on, which is really helpful. Um, you can reassign values doing this. You can look up values using just the key name inside of the brackets, um, the square brackets. You can do membership tests, which are actually Boolean expressions, so you can use it in if statements, for example. And then I showed you some uh, methods that you can use for dictionaries right down here. And if you want to see more of the methods, you can just do help and then dict, and that'll give you, whoops, that'll tell you all the methods and what they do. Um, so there you go. That's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.